गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी अस्सलाम वालेकुम रहमतुल्लाह बरकातहू आई एम बीबी आयशा लेहे एंड द मैसेज दैट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर टुडे फॉर पॉजिटिव पेरेंटिंग इज वी ऑफन से आई लव माय ग्रैंड मदर आई लव माय आंटी आई लव माय ग्रैंड फादर आई लव माय फैमिली बट हाउ ऑफन डू यू शो देम एग्जैक्टली हाउ मच यू लव देम इट्स पॉइंटलेस सेइंग दैट आई हैव दिस बिग फैमिली एंड वी गेट टुगेदर वंस इन अ वाइल बट वी आर वेरी बिजी एंड आई कांट go there i don't have the time make the time when covid lockdown level 5 and level 4 came everyone was like oh i miss my mom i miss my father i miss my grandfather and we made an effort to video call them um some people couldn't wait to have family get togethers and family reunions so what made that stop why do we need to wait for somebody to pass away so then we can all get together and talk about the amazing memories that you had with that person if you know somebody is elderly in your family and has a mental ailment or is not well go and visit that person it's a blessing for you and when you go and do that your child is learning how to value relationships and how to value what real and true love really means pointless everybody rushing off to a person's funeral pointless everybody driving for hours or saying no 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 don't have the funeral without me because uh, i need to be at the funeral but when the person was alive did you go and visit the person Did you even call the person? Did you even bother to do a WhatsApp video call? It's nice to say this is my aunt, this is my uncle, that's my cousin, that's my grandfather, that's my grand auntie. That's just a title. Did you have a bond with that person? When last have you spoken to that person? If you haven't been to visit a family member whom you know is elderly, whom you know is sick, whom you know has a challenge, whom you know is lonely, please don't rush off to go to their funeral because it's pointless. That person is not there anymore. They would like your presence now. They would like to see you now. They would like to be in your company now. They would love to see your children now. We think it's common sense, but sadly it isn't. Please don't live a life of regret because that person doesn't need your regret. That person will be by God happy. So ask yourself, what am I teaching my children by this behavior? I don't have time. I can't make time. I'm busy working. You are teaching your children how to treat you when you are old. You are teaching your children how to treat other family members. Another point I'd like to bring up across during a positive parenting session like I'm doing now. If you have an issue with your sibling or your cousin or your uncle or your aunt or whatever, which is normal, every family has issues. Why drag your children into it? Why punish your children by not letting them spend time with that uncle or that aunt or that grandparent because you have an ego problem? If your child is benefiting from that person's love, then allow it. But don't let your ego come between what is natural love that a child may have for his other parent or her other parent or grandparents or uncles and his cousins we often say stop acting like children i actually want to tell adults today start acting like children maybe you will learn a lot more from them than they are actually learning from you important life lessons don't waste time don't think you have time don't love with regrets children more learn more from what you do rather than what you say your actions are dictating to them who you really are what is the legacy that you would like to leave behind for more videos please tune into my youtube channel bibi aisha lehe assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh